Alrighty, I have something here that I am kind of not, I uh, want to say, I don't know, I'm not going to say nothing bad about this, but I am going to put my two cents in on it, and it has to do with Maura Murray, I don't want to give anybody publicity on this it's an event and the only thing I'm going to show real quick and then I'm going to shut it real off is the price $29 the 75 bucks um it's in Pennsylvania that's all I'll give I'm getting off of this now cuz I'm not giving nobody publicity for that now as you see 29 bucks 79 my 75 bucks. Hopefully it's an event that will give money to the families or to the search if it is not. And I mean, if it's not donated to something and it's just an event to go over stuff that's already been gone over and nothing good comes out of it. Shame on them. Um, if it is something good, I want to make sure and make note that I give high respects to it. That's it. Give my fullest, highest respect. That's all I can say. But if it is downright just an event to make money off of, it's like, who the hell wants to pay off of someone's death or get paid. And right, who the hell wants to pay? Pay somebody to go over stuff that's already out there. And the whole event is about Maura Murray. I don't know what they talk about. I never been to it. And it just came up tonight on my phone. But if it's something for donations and don into the family or whatnot, or the case, or something in that, then I'm, you know, I, I mean, I give my highest respects to it. But to me, it looks like people putting on a show and making you pay to hear about something that's for free on the internet. And like I said, to make money off of someone's death and there's no cause for it, then that's just, oh man, <laughs> that's pathetic. Um, that's all I want to say about that. I'm sure if you look it up, event, Philadelphia, you'll get all the information. I'm not giving no information, and I'm definitely not publicizing it, just because of the fact that it don't sound like something that I had just said. Either or, like I say, if it's something good and a good cause, I highly respect it. But the way it sounds to me, there is no, it's just making money off of someone's death. And that'd be the day I pay to go watch someone in there. I don't know. And the way they pronounce it, I mean, the only thing I got to say is that they're going to, it said something like, oh, in the lines, they're going to be there with some jokes and da-da-da-da and their funniness. And there's no funniness in this case, and there shouldn't be no jokes at that. And if that's the case, then all right, then, then this is just somebody wanting to get paid to talk about something. And they said they got new evidence, which I think is BS. Um, if there's something about a red truck, and that person owning it or if there's something about that red truck and they found it then that's the only thing I want to hear about this case other than that you you don't find that red truck you're never gonna solve the case that's the sorry simple facts um, like I said I've, I've talked enough about it too much about it and the way I look at it it don't look like it's being 
contributed to a cause. It's just someone making money off death. I know in my videos, hopefully one day they'll blow up. And everybody I, I've talked about or, you know, covered, whatever that video gets paid, you know, I'm going to try and do my best to help contribute something to someone or something or, you know, just to help what I can. But, you know, like I've been saying, my monetization's been cut. Due to that friggin' I hate to mention his name, but Mr. Logan Paul. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Why don't you go to another country and disrespect them of what you do best? Oh, man. But like I say, that's, that's what I lack of right now to get out there and do things. Money. But I'll be damned if I would go and make money off of someone's death. And if I did, I'd hope to sure for shit contribute it to somebody. Some family members, you know, the missing persons bureau, whatever the, whatever it would take to help raise something to give to that cause. But right now I'm just dead freaking broke. Broke ass beach. <laughs> But I keep doing videos every day and try and spark something. But it does look like I've lost a lot of views in the past couple days, too. So I don't know. Something's happening. It was up there. I almost got 16,000 views. Watch time minutes. But it's back down to 12. I'm in a rut again. I did get some new subscribers, I guess. Highly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, but I mean, the, to me, I don't think there's nothing more to talk about. And I think that's why these people are doing it. Because everything on the Maura Murray case has been talked about. And the only thing I can say is you find that goddamn red pickup, you'll find the murderer. But like I say, if it hit that damn junkyard... Hit that boneyard and get crushed and taken away and remelted. That's going to be a... Eh. But if it just happens so that that thing still exists. Hell, even if it's parked somewhere. I mean, there is one place I'd like to check. <laughs> Out there in Western Mass. Wink, wink, huh? But... I gotta make that time to do. Ah oh, man, but yeah, I mean, I'm just disgusted of what I read tonight. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully it's a good cause. If it ain't, man, I'm, I'm disgusted. Very disgusted. If it ain't, if it is a good cause, I mean, sorry for anything I said, but by the looks of it, it ain't, and I, I'm just disgusted with it, man. But like I said, I've been trying to do my best to keep up. But everything I've read so far, more Murray, I've covered. I've been, Thunderbolt gives me great articles. I appreciate it. But like I say, it's turning into a 360 circle now. And everything just seems to be coming in that's already been covered. So I have been running out of... Uh, material. Uh, it's just crazy though. But like I said, I think I've covered so much stuff that right everything I hear and read now seems to be the same. And that, you know, it just nah, it ain't got no fire to it no more. And that person I was supposed to get a hold of I haven't got a hold of him yet, but I'm getting ready to call to see when I can make a time or, you know, message and see when I... But I did message and late and the last message I sent was, you know, a time to talk, like 7 p.m. at night when I have, you know, the kids settling down in bed and I can literally sit down and talk to this person. 
And for some apparent reason, I haven't heard nothing since. Hmm. <laughs> but then again, they said that I think they were going to Linda, California. And they started up a new um, thing out there. New job or something. So I'm going to get into that and see what I can get. And like I said, I just haven't had the time to do that. I mean, I'm hoping it ain't going to be one of them two-hour calls, but you never know. <coughs> but, like I said, the Maura Murray case, man, I mean, I'm starting to run into loopholes, which means, right, stuff that I've done and read and covered, and I keep getting stuff sent to me, it's like it's starting to be at the point where I've already covered that. So that's why I haven't done much uh, on that. But this came up, and it's like, wow, what are these people thinking? Just what are you thinking to make money? Like I said, I hope it's going for a good cause. Other than that, pay 28 29 bucks to 75 bucks to sit and listen to someone talk about someone's death and make money off it. Oh, man. That's sick. But, I mean, I got some other stuff I'm gonna, I gotta get up. Uh, I mean, like all these other disappearances I found, I've gotten them up. I'm gonna probably dip into some more. Uh, I did get that mapping up for the, uh, the Joan Risch case. And there was something else I have to do. <laughs> but I mean, I've been trying to bang away out of things. And like I said, time's a virtue right now. The winter months coming in and, uh, man, bad weather, nothing. No, I can't go nowhere now, you know. Of course, when summer comes, it's all about the ticks and bugs and, ah, uh, I was hoping this fall would go a little bit longer, but it didn't. But I don't know. Something going to come up good. I do got a place to visit. Uh, just got to get out there. Haunting cemetery that is permanently closed. But other than that, I just wanted to share this. Like I said, I'm not giving nobody no publicity yet. I will, though, if it comes out to be a good cause, I will do a video on it and go over some of their stuff. But that's what, oh, that's what they're doing. They're going over stuff that's already, and they're going to break down the uh, series that was just made, the uh, TV show or whatever. I mean, it's all stuff that you can do yourself. And to make money off it. Yeah, that's why I think it ain't... It hope, like I said, I hope it's something for a good cause, but... You can never be too sure. But until that next video with me, be safe, take care. Thank you, subscribers. Hopefully I reach my thousand mark. It's like I say, if I don't reach my... Uh, expectations with YouTube, man. And if they don't... Give me back my monetization when everything's finalized. Thousand subscribers, four thousand watch minutes, you know. <clears throat> They're gonna be button heads with me. I mean, I take serious into my time, and sometimes I get a little bit too much into it. Family time gets lost, and you know, it's just something that I'm. I got a passion to do this stuff. And, um, but there's no time, no money to do it, so. And right now, I'm in a rut. I mean, I feel myself just kind of slipping away, but trying to fight my way through this because I'm going through some real brr, teeth crunching, knock you out time, so. Other than that, be safe, take care, always beware. And I wouldn't contribute nothing to this damn 
show if anybody finds it, whatever the hell it is, unless you know it's for a good cause. Other than that, I'll see you on the outbound next video. Oh.